na Mungu atawalipa na kuwabariki zaidi. Amen. Baba yetu wa mbinguni, Mungu wetu na mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo. Amen. Tunaamini ulifunuliwa katika mwili wakati fulani na sasa unafunuliwa katika kanisa lako. Tunapowaona ndugu na dada mahali hapa, hiyo mm. tumekuona wewe Bwana. Hey, Kwa hiyo yote yaliyotendwa na ndugu zetu na dada zetu mahali hapa mm. yametendwa na wewe. Tunakurudisha sifa, shukulani na utukufu. Pokea shukulani zetu Bwana kwa kufanikisha mkutano huu. Tunakushukuru kwa kukuletea ndugu yetu Fedi Nani Baruku mahali hapa hakukuwa na mipango yoyote na yeye lakini ile nguzo ya moto ili muongoza mpaka hapa. Baba mbinguni haukuishia hapo. Ukaona umlete mwingine wa kukazia matofali ambayo ndugu yetu Baruku aliacha miapanga. Ukamleta Pastor Mahira mahali hapa kwa. Unaona tena mkono wako ukituhimiza na ukijenga kwenye yale yale ambayo uliyasema kupitia ndugu yetu. Fedi Nani Baruku mahali hapa. Mahira pia naye amesema na kujazilizia kwenye hayo. Tuseme nini Bwana? Tunasema asante. Pokea shukrani zetu Bwana. Amen. Mungu tunajua tuna deni jingine la kuyaishi na kuyatenda moyo. Baba yetu wa mbinguni. Sisi ni wanadamu tu tulio kwenye miili hii ya kujaribiwa na zambi Hata wewe ulipokuwepo duniani ulisema hatuwezi nenda kwa kila wewe na kusii kwa neema yako bwana kwamba patuwezeshe kuishi neno hili ambalo umetuletea bwana mjaliyekuwa amini kunyana kwa kuenea mjaliyekuwa uamilifu kwenye yote ulitendea bwana hebu Mungu mjalia mkutano huu ukaandikwe katika vitanda vya mioyo yetu vitanda vya mikono yetu vilizidi vya mioyo yetu amina mchole bwana kumbukumbu hii katika mioyo yetu isitoke daima tujue na tukumbuke yote ile tumeenea bwana. Tumeambiwa na neno lako ni atia na nizambi kutokukumbuka wewe. Tendea kukumbuka kwa neema yako bwana. Asante Mungu wetu. Tunaenda kwenye kipindi cha mwisho cha mkutano wetu huu ambao uko umetupa. Tujalie kitani kipindi chenye baraka zaidi na chenye kukufu zaidi na chenye nguvu nyingi bwana. Kuna siri ukufu wako wa shekina ukafulike mahali hapa sante kwa mtu atashikilia wa hudumu watakosimama mahali hapa na utawaongoza bwana waongoza atakaye ubiri waongoza atakaye tafasiri baba wa mbinguni pokea shukrani zetu na ukazikubali bwana tutapoenda kwako kupitia jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo amen Mungu abariki ni mwache ndugu demo tabuni mchungaji atiji bwana na ubariki
bless you. Amen. Let's pray. Hebu na tuombe. Dear loving heavenly Father, we want to thank you. Baba mpendo, tunapenda kukushukuru. Once more because we can call upon the Mara nyingine tena kwa tunaweza kukuiti. And that you remain God. Na unadumo mungu. Amen. Whose glory we share with nobody. Baba ungependa kushirikisha, kushirikisha na nasi utukufu wako. Your glory you will share with nobody. Baba utukufu wako huta shirikiana na mungine. I believe you are here. Na huko hapa. To bless us once more. Hebu utubariki mara nyingine. Lord, you are honest. Baba wajua. How tired and exhausted this body is. Baba namna gani mili hii mechoka. But Lord, will you come down again? Hebu baba na ushuke chini tena. In a few minutes, Lord, katika dakika chache bwana. And Lord, speak to us. Na hebu baba upozungumzie. Through thy word. Kupitia neno lako. And bless your people. Ubariki watu wako. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. We are reading in the book of Amos chapter 3 from chapter 3 Tunasoma kutoka katika kitabu cha Amos sura ya 3 Yeah chapter 3 Let's begin from verse 7 Sura ya 3 kuanzia kifungu cha 7 Surely the Lord God will do nothing. Hakika bwana Mungu hatafanya neno lolote. But he reveals his secret to his servants the prophets. Bila kuwafunulia watumishi wake manabii. The lion has, the lion has roared who will not fear the Lord God has spoken who can but prophesy. Simba amekwisha kunguruma ni nani asiyeogopa? Bwana Mungu amenena ni nani awezae neno ila kutabiri? And going back to where we went in the morning in Ezekiel chapter 36. Na tukirudi mahali ambako tulikuwa subuhi Ezekiel sura ya 36. Just continuing the same message. Na tukiendelea na ujumbe ule ule of yesterday and Friday. Wa ule wa jana pamoja na juzi Jumaa. He says in verse 2. Anasema katika mstari wa pili. Thus says the Lord God. Wana Mungu asema hivi. Because the enemy has said against you. Kwa sababu wadui wamesema juyeno. Aha. Aha. Even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Na mahali pa juu pa zamani pa mekua petu pa miritu. Therefore prophesy and say that says the Lord God. Pasi tabiri useme. Bwana mungu asema hivi. Because... They have made you desolate and have swallowed you upon every side. That you might be a possession unto the rescue of the heathen. And you are taken up in the lips of talkers. And are an infamy of the people. Na kwa masingi siyo ya watu. I'll leave it at that. Ita acha hapo. May God bless his word. Na mungu wa bariki neno lake. Amen. Bless you, may be seated. Mbarikio na mnaweza mkakete. Amen. Well, once again, I preach in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Maraja tungekwe kwa hapa subuhi. Because you missed the big part. Kwa sababu ume poteza, mekosa ile sehemu kubwa. I'm just done finishing. Na sasa ni namalizia. Because I'm completely finished myself. Kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe ni mechoka hasa. Ni mekwisha. Yeah. And I was even debating whether I should come here or not to this evening. Na hata nilikuwa ni kishindana iwapo ni ngeweza kuhudi hapa mahali. Because my body was saying no. And you know fatigue is a very dangerous thing. You rather have malaria or any other disease but not fatigue. So I will, I will just say what I can. And, and, and end there. Amen. Amen.
So next time when there is a chance for us, wakati mwingine kunapokuweko na nafasi kwa ajili yetu, it is very important that we close all churches and be together. Amen. Ni muhimu sana tunaweza tukafunga makanisa yote na tukawa pamoja. Like they did in Dar es Salaam, kama jinsi walivyofanya Dar es Salaam and they did in Dodoma. Walifanya hivyo Dodoma because you have missed a certain portion of what was preaching. Kwa sababu umekosa sehemu ya ile tuliyokuwa tukihubiri. Wa Dodoma Sijio mimi nimewaacha kanisa yangu sasa mwezi mzima pia. Nimewaacha yangu. Yes. Now when God gives us an opportunity to share the word, kama Mungu anatupa fursa ya kuweza kushirikiana katika neno, we better get use of it. Na hebu tutumie tuitumie hiyo fursa because kwa sababu I may not, I'm not sure when na will come again. Yeah. Sina uhakika nitarudi lini mahali hapa. You know I had to choose between from 40 invitations to come to Tanzania. Unajua ilinibidi kuchagua katika mialiko 40 kuweza kuja hapa Tanzania. And it was not easy. Na haikuwa rahisi. So That's why it is not very easy for me to know where to go when. Unajua hivyo ndivyo isivyo kuwa rahisi kujua mahali gani napaswa kwenda na ni lini. So I cannot even say I'll come back next year. Siwezi kusema hata nitarudi mwaka kesho mali hapa. I can't be sure. Sina uhakika because as I speak, kwa sababu ninavyoongea, I think my program is covered up to September next year. Unajua program yangu hata inaenda mpaka Septemba mwaka kesho. So that's how tight it is. Uone namna gani jinsi ilivyofungamanishwa. And not all places of course kwa sababu si kila mahali bila chaka because as i said i'm a pastor kwa sababu kama ninazungumza hapa mimi ni mtungaji i also have to be at home sometime ina nibidi pia kuwa wakati fulani nyumbani so we were saying in the morning sasa tulikuwa tukishirikiana asubuhi god is using the word mungu anatumia neno because the enemy has said kwa sababu adui amesema Like we saw yesterday, kama tulivyoona jana, because the Syrians have said, kwa sababu wa Ashuru wamesema, that they are God is the God of the mountains. Kwamba Mungu wao ni Mungu wa milimani. But it's not in the valley, it's not in the, the plain. Kwamba hayuko bondani, hayuko tambarare. Therefore, kwa hiyo, I'm going to prove to them tuna na nitawathibitishia that I'm a God of all situations. Kwa mimi ni Mungu wa hali zote. That's what we're dealing with yesterday. And in the morning, asubuhi, we were looking at what the Bible was saying. Tulikuwa tukiangalia kile ambacho Biblia inasema the book of Ezekiel. Katika kitabu cha Ezekiel. And because your enemy has said, kwa sababu adui yako amesema, aha. Because the enemy is laughing at your condition kwamba huyu adui yako anasema katika hali ulionayo anacheki anakuchekelea katika hali ulionayo kwa hali yenye wewe he doesn't know hajui that God Mungu permitted you to come to that condition aliruhusu wewe ufikie katika hali hiyo as a trap kama mtego to the devil kwa ibilisi reason to his demons and his spirits kwa mapepo yake na roho yake tunafuati kukutekelea tuse aha kusema aha amepatikana Am yes tutaona namna kapita raha atashindaje atasimamaje and the enemy can even use your neighbors na hata adui yako anaweza kuwatumia majirani zako let me tell you He can even use your fellow believers. Na anaweza hata akatumia waaminio wenzio. And he can even begin to laugh at you. Na anaweza hata akaanza kukutekelea. So where is your God? Mungu wako yuko wapi? That's what he did in the days of Job. Hivyo ndivyo alivyofanya katika siku za Ayubu. It was the friends of Job. Walikuwa ni marafiki wa Ayubu. Who came and laughed at him? Bao walikuja na kumtekelea. Looking at him and saying, "Na huko na wakasema You should be a secret sinner. Wewe ni mwenye dhambi siri. Why has all this befallen you? Kwa nini Mungu amekuacha? Amen. Why has all these problems come upon you? Kwa nini hakupatatizwa juu yako? But they didn't know. Lakini hawakujua. When they are saying like that, kwamba wanasema namna hiyo, they are provoking God. Kwamba wanamto 
kwanza Mungu they didn't know hawajui hawakujua that God was behind the package was was behind the thing kwamba Mungu alikuwa nyuma ya lile bili the suffering of job matatizo ya kuhudhuria kwa Ayubu was permitted by job for a reason yale mashaa Ayubu kwa sababu ya sababu God allowed it for a reason Mungu aliyaruhusu haya matatizo kwa sababu and they were just seeing it from the first view walikuwa wakiangalia tu kwa muonekano wa nje but they didn't know the mystery behind lakini hawakujua ile siri iliyokuwa nyuma yake glory to god ukukufu kwa mungu and one time i was preaching about wakati mmoja nilikuwa nikihubiri kuhusu hilo the mystery of who i am and why i am what i am kwa siri ya kile nilicho na kwa nini mimi ndivyo nilivyo who am i mimi ni nani you don't know Unichui. Have you ever seen me? Uje umetaka kuniona mimi? I am not this body. Mimi si huu mwili. I am the soul. Mimi ni nafsi. You have not even seen me. Hata hujawahi kuniona. When you look at my body, unapotazama mwili wangu, laugh at me because of my body. Na unanicheka kwa sababu ya mwili wangu. You are mistaken. Umekosea. You have never seen me. Hujawahi kuniona. You don't know how I look like. Unachua hata hujui ninafanana nani. You are wasting your time on my body. Unapoteza baya muda wako juu ya mwili wangu this body whom will is the house where i stay ni nyumba ambapo ninaishi but it's not me this is me me so have you ever seen me uje umepata kuniona so how can you even abuse me unaweza hata hata kunitukana if you knew who you are ukijua wewe unani you would not even feel bad if you are unaweza kumtukana mwingine because he doesn't even see kwa sababu hata kuoni he is only looking at the body yeye tu anatazama mwili na Today this evening sasa siku ya leo tioni hii talking about the sub the sub the sub topic ninazungumzia somo dogo and that I'm calling ambalo ninaliita God has spoken Mungu amenena now listen sasa sikilizeni the enemy i mean God permits a condition Mungu anaruhusu hali that you come to ambayo utaifikia and then the enemy says na ndipo adui anasema because the enemy has said kwa sababu adui amesema because the Syrians have said kwa sababu Ashuru wamesema because Goliath has challenged kwa sababu Goliath amepia changamoto i am raising a david mimi ninamuinua david okay sawa now sasa the enemy speaks the enemy speaks adui anaendelea kusema anasema na kusema and then god tells you na ndipo mungu anakwambia because the enemy has said kwa sababu adui amesema prophesy tabiri that's what we preaching this morning hicho ndicho tulikuwa tukihubiri asubuhi ya leo just keep quiet usinyamaze don't keep quiet usinyamaze let me tell you hebu nikwambie don't you never permit the enemy's statement over you kawe usiruhusu kauli ya 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 adui mtu yako you go back to the bible hebu nenda katika biblia rudi katika biblia when there was a challenge wakati kulikuwa kuna changamoto between david and goliath kati ya daudi na goliath who spoke last nani alinena mwishowe it was not goliath hakuwa goliath it was david who said the final statement alikuwa ni daudi aliyesema kauli ya mwisho because david was a believer kwa sababu Daudi alikuwa ni mwaminio and a true believer na mwaminio wa kweli doesn't allow the enemy to say the final statement over him ah haruhusu huyu adui aseme kauli ya mwisho juu yake no la and what did David say na Daudi alisemaje today leo i'm going to kill you nitakuua and i'm going to cut off your head na nitakigondolea kichwa chako come 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 hebu jo David said the last Daudi alisema akiwa wa mwisho when Job was speaking with the three men wakati Ayub alipokuwa akinena na wale wanaume watatu Eliphaz said Eliphaz akisema Job answered Ayub akajibu Bill Dad spoke Bill Dad naye akasema Job never kept quiet Ayub hakunyamaza he answered alijibu when Zophar spoke wakati Zophar aliposema Job answered Ayubu alisema there is no one of them who spoke and job kept quiet hakuna aliyesema isipokuwa ayubu apate kujibu you go and study the book of job hebu nenda usome kitabu cha ayubu bill dad could speak one 
chapter Bildad hajaweza kusema sura moja and Job answers two or three na Ayub yuachibu katika sura mbili au tatu Zofa speaks one chapter Zofa na nena in Ezekiel katika Ezekiel that when the enemy says wakati amen ne wakati adui anaposema aha nimekupata sasa I hold I found you nimekupata you are going to die utakufa this condition will not change hali hii haitabadilika then professor ipo tabiri don't keep quiet usinyamaze amen don't keep quiet usinyamaze you know that your victory is in your confession unajua kuchinda kwako kuko katika ukiri do you know do you know what confession means unajua kukiri ni nini confession means kukiri kuna maanisha saying the same thing again and again and again kusema jambo lile lile tena na tena na tena na tena that's what confession is hiyo ndiyo kukiri kuna maanisha and confession na kukiri is the mystery behind victory ni siri nyuma ya ushindi because you are simply saying what god has said kwa sababu unasema tu kile ambacho mungu amesema and you say by his strength i am na unasema kwa kupigwa kwake nimepona i am the bride mimi ni bibi i am the bride mimi ni bibi i will not be deceived si uwezi kwa i am not going to get lost si tapote i am going to make it to heaven nitaenda mbinguni god loves me mungu ananipenda god is with me mungu ananishauriwa elaya chetani wewe mungu the word of god is the truth neno la mungu ni kweli you keep saying what the word says unaendelea kusema tu ni kile chake what the word says unaendelea kusema tu neno ni mzee this confession ni unapona kujiri repeating the word of god unarudia neno la mungu and when you are repeating the word of god unaporuka neno la mungu you are making your mouth to be the mouth of god unafanya mdomo wako uwe kinywa cha mungu your mouth becomes the mouth of god kinywa chako kinapata kinywa cha mungu because it's the mouth of god which speaks the word of god sababu ni kinywa cha mungu ambacho unena neno la mungu so when you speak the word of god You 
ukanisei una uweza ukalinena so god has now spoken sasa mungu amesema we have something here we have to examine kuna kitu fulani hapa tunapaswa kukichunguza because how does god speak kwa sababu mungu ananenaje this is what we were reading in the book of amos he kitu cha tutakapo tukisoma katika kitabu cha amos in the book of amos katika kitabu cha amos chapter 3 the one of sura ya 3 nataka tulitazame verse 7 he said mstari wa 7 anasema he says the lord surely the lord god has uh, will do nothing but he reveals his secret to the his servants the prophets amen hakika bwana mungu atafanya neno lolote bila kuwafunulia watumishi wake manabii siri yake amen now sasa there is a mystery lying there sasa kuna siri iliyoko mahali hapo the prophet nabi doesn't do hafanyi what god was going to do kile mungu ambacho anaenda the prophet lakini nabi receives the mystery nabi upokea siri of what god is going to do ya kile ambacho mungu anaenda kutenda that's why he says ndio maana anasema surely the lord god will not do anything hakika bwana mungu hatafanya neno lolote without first revealing the secret of what is going to kila kwanza kufunua siri ya kile anachopenda kutenda to his servants the prophets kwa wana kwa manabii wake kwa watumishi wake manabii now the problem that we have today sasa tatizo tulilo nalo leo this bed ridden sick weakly backboneless church hili eh, hili kanisa ambalo ni gofu yuko kwa katika kitanda cha mauti hey, hey, hey. they know wanajua they think that god did everything in brother brother wanajua wanajua kwamba kila kitu mungu alikifanya kwa ndugu brani hapo and that's why that brother ran na me na sorry what brother ran na me ah ndio maana ndugu mmoja alinikaba anipigia simu alinipigia simu na nikuuliza ya kwamba mbona wewe brother brother maira who, who are you ndugu brother ndugu maira wewe ni nani How can God use you to do such miracle? Mungu atakutumiaje? Anawezaje kukutumia wewe kufanya miujiza hiyo? We believe this miracles went with brother Brani. Tunaamini miujiza hii ilienda na ndugu Brani hapo. Ilisaweka na ndugu Brani hapo. I told him who deceived him. Nikamwambia nani amekudanganya? If, if, if they went with brother Brani hapo. Kama neno na ndugu Brani hapo. Why did Jesus descend in 1963? Kwa nini Yesu alishuka mwaka 1963? To do what? Kufanya nini? Why did he come with an open book? Kwa nini alishuka na kitabu kilichofunguliwa? And what was that book? Na kitabu hicho kilikuwa ni nini? That was a book of redemption. Hicho kilikuwa ni kitabu cha ukombozi. And a book of redemption. Na kitabu cha ukombozi. Is your title the book? Title the book. Na ni kitabu cha hati. Hallelujah. Amen. Cha hati miliki yako. Amina. Is you are deep ni hatimiliki yako is what your father has given you ni kile ambacho baba yako amekupa your father has given it to you mungu baba yako amekupa your father has given you this baba yako amekupa hiki and it belongs to you na ni mali yako and when you see your name in the book na wakati unapokiona kitabu inamaanisha ya kwamba now that is the time for you to go and claim what belongs to you na ni wakati uko kwenda kukidai You claim me where we will be die not a prophet claim me sio nabii atike atara but just we open the seals wakati alipofungua mihuri he preach the seals na hiyo mihuri nini kilipokea and the thunders na gurumo when the mysteries in the seven seals katika zile siri katika ngoro katika siri zile siri katika gurumo saba sorry the thunders when the mysteries in the seven seals zile gurumo Sorry, can you come again? <laughs> the thunders were the mysteries revealed in the seven seals. Zile ngurumo zikiwa na ile siri zilizofunuliwa katika mihuri saba. Let me just bring it like this. Why did God rest on the seven seals? Kwa nini Mungu alipumzika katika zile mihuri saba? Do you know the reason? Unajua ni kwa nini? Why did he rest on the seven days? Kwa nini alipumzika katika zile mihuri saba? Because he had finished his work. Kwa sababu alikuwa amemaliza kazi yake. 
What was the finishing part of his work? Ni sehemu gani iliyokuwa ikimalizia kazi yake? The creation of man. Ilikuwa ni kuumbwa kwa mwanadamu. When did he create man? Alimu mwanadamu aliumbwa lini? On the sixth day. Katika siku ya sita. So the seventh day was the seventh seal. Kwa hiyo siku ya saba ilikuwa ni muhuri wa saba. Silence. Ukimya. Rest. Kupumzika. Hakuna kazi. There was silence in heaven. Kwa na ukimya mbinguni. Why is it the silence? Kwa nini ni ukimya? The mystery is what he did in the six seals. Ile siri ni kila alichokuwa amefanya katika zile mihuri sita. On the first day, katika yes. katika muhuri wa kwanza, he created. Aliumba. Second day, he created. Siku ya pili aliumba. And all things were good. Na vitu vyote vilikuwa vyema. Fourth day, fifth day, sixth day. Siku ya nne, siku ya tano, alimaliza kazi yake. He finished the work. Amen. Seven is there. <laughs> siku ya saba. Silence. Ukimya. Why is there silence? Kwa nini kuna ukimya? Because of the mysteries of the six days. Kwa sababu ya ile siri ya siku sita. Mhm. Now, sasa, why was it a silence in heaven about the space of half an hour? Kwa nini kulikuwa na ukimya mbinguni kwa muda wa kama nusu saa? I was recently in Arizona. Hivi karibuni nilikuwa Arizona. In May. Where's the May? And I was in that town, Flagstaff. Na nilikuwa katika ule mji wa Flagstaff. Where the pillow cloud appeared. Wakati mahali ambako ile nguzo ya wingu ilionekana. That's where I was preaching. Hapo ndipo nilipokuwa nikihudhuria. Sasa, do you know how long that cloud was staying in space? Unajua ni umbali gani lile wingu lilikuwa likidumu mahali pale? That cloud with the face of Jesus. Lile wingu likiwa na sura ya Kristo. It, it was there 28 minutes. Lile wingu lilikuwa mahali pale kwa muda wa dakika 28. Why 28 minutes? Kwa nini dakika 28? Time of life. Muda wa maisha, muda wa usima, wa uhai. Every woman after 28 days Kila mwanamke baada ya siku 28 there is something that happens. Kuna kitu fulani kinatotokea. Time of life. Muda wa, wa, eh, wakati wa uhai. I am going to fish to you. Nitakurudia in the time of life. Wakati wa, wa uhai. That was the message to Sarah. Huo ulikuwa ni utumbe kwa Sarah. Amen. And there was silence in heaven. Na kulikuwa na ukimya mbinguni about the space of half an hour kama muda wa nusu saa and 28 minutes is about half an hour na dakika 28 ni kama nusu saa dakika 30 and you came down na alashuka who was in the cloud nani alikuwa katika wingu it was the face of jesus ilikuwa ni sura ya ya yesu why the head kwa nini kichwa there was an invisible union kulikuwa na na muungano usionekana amen because the bride is here. Amen. The bride is the body. Amen. And the head was coming down Na kile to unite with the body. Amen. Why did the head come down? Amen. Who, who formed the, the cloud? Nani alifanya lile wingu? The seven angels. Wale malaika saba. What were seven angels? There was a blast. Anasema kulikweko na ngurumo. That shook the whole earth. Ambayo ambayo ulitekete ulitikisa dunia nzima. And he was caught up. Na alipaliwa. To meet the seven angels. Kutana na wale malaika saba. Now the prophet. Na sasa nabi. He saw seven angels. Aliwona malaika saba. But the scientists around the world, lakini wana science wana usumbuka ulimwengu. They were seeing a cloud. Wali kwa kiona wingu. A strange cloud. Wingu la jabu. The prophet, nabi, is seeing angels. Ana wana malaika. The scientists, wana wana science, are seeing a cloud. Wana wana wingu. And later on, na badai, God tells the prophet, na na mungu na mambi na bi. You go and turn that cloud. Na hebu ringe uze nile wingu To the right Kwa ile kia mkono wakulia And when he turned it Na na lipo ringe uza He saw the face of Christ Aliona uza wa Christ 
three angels. Seven angels. Malaika Saba. Where the cloud. And in the cloud is the face of a man. This man is Jesus. The mighty conqueror who has already conquered the devil. He's the one who had come down. He's the one now with a little open book. And you are the one to go and take the book and eat the book. And when you eat the book, digest the book, eat all of it. And when you eat the book, eat all of it. And when you eat the book, and I just all of it. Now we can talk about it. What will follow? Nini kita fatia? You must prophesy again. Nina kupindi kutabiri tena. You must prophesy again. Nina kupindi utaf utabiri tena. Why is it a must? Kwa nini ni lazima? Amen. So if you think you you are going to sit there idle and go to heaven, you are joking. Kama unadhani kwamba utakaa hapo bure unapia msaha You are going to be forced to come to a condition where you must prophesy utalazimika ufikie katika hali ambayo utapaswa kutabiri tena Whether you want it or not utake usichake So you rather you better start moving you better start exercising yourself and tell yourself I must prophesy again before nations before tongues tongues, tongues before peoples and nations I mean and kings yes sir I was telling that brother you know, I had one pastor who told me. For us, we don't believe in the supernatural anymore. I said, if you don't believe in the supernatural, then you don't believe in God. Because God is supernatural. And you will not go in the rupture. Because the rupture will be supernatural. In a moment. Wakati, in a twinkle of an eye. We shall be changed. So if you don't believe in the supernatural. How are you going to go in the rupture? So the enemy says, uh-huh. And then God says, mm -hmm. Now this is your time. When the enemy says, uh-huh. God says, mm -hmm. Now you have got what the enemy. What? I have given you. What can deal with the enemy? You, you have eaten the book. You see what the enemy Yeah, you're the boss. 
sasa. Whatever is there telling you, chochote anachokuambia, do it. Kifanye. Do it. Kifanye. If he tells you to do it today, do it. Today. Kama akikwambia kufanya hilo leo, lifanye. How many want their blessings today? Wangapi wanataka baraka zao leo? They want their victory today. Nani wanataka ushindi wao leo? God bless you. Mungu awabariki. I want to tell you. Nataka niwaambie. Don't bless your blessings tomorrow. Don't bless your blessings tomorrow. Usifanye baraka zako kwa ajili ya kesho. Don't even claim your healing tomorrow. Na usidai uponyaji wako kwa ajili ya kesho. Don't pray for the Holy Ghost tomorrow. Usif ombe kwa ajili ya Roho Mtakatifu kwa ajili ya kesho. Claim whatever belongs to you today. Dai chochote kile ambacho ni mali yako leo. Leo. Today is your day. Leo ni siku yako. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hii ni siku ambayo Bwana ameifanya. Why am I saying this? Hii kwa nini nasema hili? The devil is a tactician. Shetani anasema he is a tactician. Yes, shetani ni mbune ni ni, ni fundi. Tactician. Yaani shetani ni mtu wa mbinu. He is very tactical. Yeye yeah, ni mtu wa mbinu. He will fail you by the very word that you believe. Hapa kufanya ushindwe katika neno lile lile unaloamini. If you say kama ukisema unasema I will get my healing tomorrow. Nitapokea uponyaji wangu kesho. You will never get healed. Utaponywa. Kamwe. You will never get healed. Kamwe utaponywa. Because the devil will say kwa sababu shetani atasema you will go and stand before God and say utaenda usimame mbele za Mungu na useme your word says neno lako linasema one day with the Lord is a thousand years. Siku moja kwa Bwana ni siku moja ya Bwana ni miaka elfu moja. This man wants his healing tomorrow. Huyo mtu anataka uponyaji wake kesho. That means his healing must come after thousand years. Hii inamaanisha uponyaji wake uje baada ya miaka elfu moja. You will not get it. Puta upata. Because you need to know the principle of the word that you believe. Kwa sababu hukujua kanuni ya neno ambalo unaamini. The principle says, eh, kanuni inasema, one day, siku moja, is a thousand years. Ni miaka 1000. So if you don't press yourself today, kama hutadai leo, you will never get anything. Hutapata chochote. You are finished. Umekwisha. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, this day today is the day of your salvation. Siku hii leo ni siku ya uokovu wako. Sasa 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 sasa. Na sasa. Claim your victory now. Sa hebu dai shindi wako sasa. Dai uponyaji wako sasa. Claim the joy of salvation now. Hebu dai raia wako sasa. Sio kesho. I want it today. Nina utaka leo. Even if it takes 10, 5 months from Ana, now. Kama itachukua miezi mitano tangu sasa. Still today. Bado ingali leo. And still one day. Bado ingali siku moja. So the devil plays tricks on us. Hivyo shetani anatuchezea, anatufanyia mbinu. And he stands before God. Na anasimama mbele ya Mungu. Sidi alisema, "Umfungulie njia kesho." That's what he said. Hicho ndicho anachosema. So, and kesho is after 2000 years. Na kesho ni baada ya miaka 2000. After after 1000 years. Baada ya miaka 1000. So, I still have a license to do what I am doing, Mr. God. Leave me alone. Oh, baba, bado ni ngali ninaendelea kufanya na vitu hivi. Bwana Mungu niache. That woman didn't have any problem with me today. Huyo mwanamke hakuwa na shida na mimi leo. She only prayed for tomorrow. Aliomba tu kwa ajili ya kesho. And tomorrow is after 1000 years. Na kesho ni baada ya miaka 1000. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. So God has spoken. Hivyo Mungu amenena. Who can but obey to prophesy? Nani isipokuwa mtu atii kutabiri? We should now obey. Hivyo sasa na utii. What is my prophecy? Uta uta unabini nini? I must obey. Nina paswa kuwa. I must obey what is said. Nina paswa kutii kila ambacho Mungu anasema. I must take what the message says. Nina paswa kuchukua kila ambacho ujumbe umesema. I don't care whether I understand it or not. Si, yani, kama I don't need to understand. Si, 
unahitaji kufahamu my mind is my problem kwa sababu akili yangu ni tatizo but my heart is my solution lakini uh, lakini moyo wangu ndio suluhu my heart believes in god kwa sababu moyo wangu unamwamini mungu my heart i know moyo wangu unajua in my heart i know katika moyo wangu unajua the of god is true neno wa mungu ni kweli but my mind lakini akili yangu wants to tell me what the doctor say unapambiwa tu kile daktari amesema my mind akili yangu wants to take me to the situation inataka kunirudisha katika hali and the circumstances katika katika ile mazingira this is where my problem is hapo ndipo matatizo yangu yalipo this is where my peace is lakini hapa ndipo palipo na amani yangu i know what god is saying ninatua kile mungu anasema and i'm obeying god ninam ninamtii mungu i am taking god and his word ninamchukua mungu katika neno lake i am counting everything else as if it's not there nina shuko kila kitu isi kama vile hakipo so listen Hebu sikiliza. That's why the prophet says. Hivyo ndio maana nabii anasema. There are very many voices. Kuna sauti nyingi. Amen. And you should be careful which voice you are going to obey. Lakini inakupasa kuwa makini sana ni sauti ipi ina unapaswa kuitii. There is actually millions of voices of authority in the world. Unajua leo kuna zaidi ya sauti zenye mamlaka 1000 ulimwenguni. Not 1000 million. Million moja, sorry. And they, they demand obedience and they command you. Na na wana na zile sauti zinataka uzitii na zinakuamuru. Kings, wafalme, presidents, maraisi, the chiefs, ah watawala wakeli the clans na ko the ceos na wale wakuu wa mashirika the managing directors that you have in your company wale mameneja ulionao katika makampuni there are so many voices trying to control you ni kuna sauti nyingi ambazo zinataka kukutawala the voice of your head sauti za kichwa chazo you have so many voices una sauti nyingi i want us to look at this nataka tutazame hili The prophet says, Nabii anasema, we should wait on the Lord. Inatupasa kumngoja Bwana. You see? Unaona? We do all the talking. Tunafanya, tunaongea sana. Kila siku tunaongea, tunaongea, tunaongea. Maneno yetu. We don't give him a chance to talk back to us. Hatuumpi nafasi yeye apospray. Unajua wakati tunapoomba. Say katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amina. So where is my Bible and then? Oh, Biblia yako iko wapi? Biblia yako iko wapi? Come on. When when do you think God should talk to you? Una fikiri ni lini Mungu atakuzungumzia? When you are prayed, wakati unapokuwa umeomba, remain in that mood, humble yourself. Hebu ubaki katika hali hiyo chenyekeze. You have prayed, you have spoken to him, maybe he wants to answer back. Eh umemuomba yeye, umemuomba yeye, nataka kukujibu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. But for us we just talk and go. Talk and go. We talk and go. We want to zungumza na kuondoka na kuondoka. We want to talk talk talk. Unataka kuzungumza na kuzungumza na kuzungumza. When do we want him to speak to us? Je, tunataka lini yeye atuzungumzie? Now listen. Hebu sikilize. We don't give him a chance to talk back to us. Hatumpi nafasi yeye kutuzungumzia. That if we would pray, hata kama tungeomba and pray until our soul comes into the presence of God. Na tuombe mpaka nafsi zetu zimekuja katika uwepo wa Mungu. Then just relax. Hebu na ustarehe. And listen to his voice. Na usikilize yale. So many problems, matatizo mengi sana. And he needs and he needs na mata na mahitaji crying for attention. Uyati uyatilia kwa ajili ya kusikiwa. Aha. Now I have needs which your grandfather didn't have. Unajua una mahitaji yale ambayo mababu zako hawakuwa nayo. Your grandfather didn't need electricity to charge a phone. Unajua babu yako hakuhitaji umeme kuweza kuchaji simu. He didn't have a phone. Hakuwa na simu. But you have that problem now. Lakini una tatizo hilo sasa. When you go to a place, unapokwenda mahali, where will I charge my phone? Oh, nitachaji wapi simu yangu? Is a problem. Ni tatizo. Where will I buy airtime? Nitanunua wapi muda maongezi? Is a problem. Ni tatizo. Where will I buy data? 
Nita hudunua wapi data? Is a problem. Nita tizo. Where is the saloon? Mahali gani kuna saloon? Is a problem. Nita tizo. These days we don't use scissors. That's how they used to cut our hair. Even with the razor blade. Even with the razor Even with the razor blade. And when they cut you, they would encourage you that it's because we love you, that's why we have cut you. And the more they cut you, 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 a sign that we love you more. That's how they were cutting my hair when I was a young boy. But now, even a small keep, to go to a saloon and spend money happen to live pesa it's a problem it is so many needs amen my tajin mengi sana need cooking going una tajin mafuta ya kupikia onions tomatoes una tajin nyanya vitungu garlic eh vitungu saumu those things your mother doesn't know them oh hayo mambo mama yako hayajui you say garlic unasema vitungu saumu garlic yeah unasema unasema ugali you have more problems than your mother. Una matatizo mengi zaidi kuliko mama yako. So many problems. Matatizo mengi sana. And need is crying for your attention. Na yanahitaji kusikilizwa. Listen. Sikiliza. But there will never be a voice so important. Kama hapatakuwa na sauti ambayo ni ya muhimu. And so what they attending to ambayo inastahili kusikilizwa as the voice of the spirit kama sauti ya yule roho so hivyo he that hath an ear yule aliye na sikio amen amen let him hear amen na asikie not the news of tanzania sio habari za tanzania it's good to listen to the news of Tanzania. That is not the reason you were given the ear. That is not the reason you were given the ear. That is not the reason you were given the ear. Amen. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. Amen. 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 Let me leave so many things here. Let me just get one thing here. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He says here the message. And I say, Mahapa Katka Ujumbe. Yes. Now, listen to the authenticated prophet of God. Hebu mwangalie huyu nabii aliyethibitishwa. Who appears in this last age? Anaye one anaye tukia katika wakati huu wa mwisho. Now listen. Sasa sikilize. What he says from God. Kila anachosema kutoka kwa Mungu, the bride will say. Amen. Bibi harusi atasema. Amen. Kwa maana atari atairudia. Shall just repeat Atarudia. What the prophet says, kile nabii anachosema from God, kutoka kwa Mungu, the bride will say. Bibi harusi atakisema. The spirit, roho, and the prophet, na nabii, and the bride, na bibi harusi will be saying the same thing. Watakuwa wakisema kitu kile kile. And what they will say, kile watakachosema, will have already been said in the word. Sitakuwa tayari kimesemwa katika neno. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Let me come to my final part here. Hebu nije katika sehemu ya mwisho. So many things I'm finished. Unajua nimeacha mambo mengi ninamalizia. In the church agency says, katika nyakati saba anasema, the people, watu who took his revelation from God? Ambao alichukua ufunuo kutoka kwa Mungu. Who's the prophet's revelation? Ufunuo wa nani? Ufunuo wa nabii. God does nothing. Mungu hafanyi chochote. He reveals. Lakini wafunulia. What is about to do? Kile ambacho yuaenda kutenda. Through the prophet. Kupitia kwa nabii. So the people, hivyo watu, who take his revelation from God, ambao uchukua ufunuo kutoka kwa 
Wamugu. They became the living epistles read and known of all men. Wanakuwa nyaraka zinazosomwa na watu wote. For their generation. Kwa ajili ya kwa ajili ya kizazi chao. When the Methodist is failed, na wakati wa Methodist waliposhindwa, God raised up others. Mungu aliwainua wengine. And so it has gone on through the years. Na hivyo imeendelea hivyo katika miaka yote. Until in this last day, paka katika wakati huu wa mwisho, there is again another people kuna watu wengine tena duniani. Don't think the battle is over. Usidadi kwamba mapambano yameisha. God has got people. Mungu ana watu. There is again a people, another people in the land. Hivyo tena kuna watu wengine duniani. Listen, sikilizeni. Who and now under their messenger. Chini ya mjumbe wao will be the final voice to the final age. Watakuwa ni sauti ya mwisho kwa sauti ya wakati wa mwisho. They will be they will remain under the prophetic voice what a what what a back to chini ya sauti ya kinabi uh huh uh huh they will not become wise acres what how to kuwa wenye what wenye acres are thinking they know better than the messenger how to kuwa what wenye acres sana kama jinsi ambavyo watu wengine wanajua the pride will remain under the messenger what a back to chini ya kinabi wow chini ya prophetic message chini ya utoto God used him to bring the message to me. So I have no problem with him. I just thank God for the prophet. He is taking the message. to the final age kwa wakati wa mwisho yes sir naam bwana because the church kwa sababu kanisa the nominal church ah kanisa la la kawaida la kawaida is no longer the mouthpiece of god si mkija cha mungu it has become its own mouthpiece imekuwa ni kija cha lenyewe so God is standing on her and he will confound her through the prophet and the bride. God is standing against God is halots. He's, he's fighting, he's going to fight against these halots. The Then the great Harold and her daughters. You let Kaaba mkuu pamoja na mabinti zake. You know what I'm talking about. Unajua kile ninachozungumza. God is going to confound her. Mungu anaenda kupambana naye. Aha. To confound is to 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 subdue to overturn to ashem. Kupambana naye ni kumaibisha, kumfanya kutokuwa na nguvu. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Now what a shanga! Who is this? How are the nani? Just like Jesus came to Jerusalem. Come on, Jesus! Yes, I'm going to Jerusalem. Jerusalem was shaken. Jerusalem will be quite tatemeka. And the denomination is saying, "Na madhebu akasema." Who is this? Who you nani? That people are worshiping and praising. Am am by what one of my bodu na kumsifu. They will confound it. Walikuwa wametakewa. So he will confound her. Hivyo hapa pambana nae through the prophet. Kupitia nabii and the bride. 
na 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 bibi harusi for the voice of god kwa maana sauti ya mungu will be in her itakuwa ndani ya bibi harusi voice of god sauti ya mungu will be in the bride itakuwa ndani ya bibi harusi what will she do na atafanya nini she will make her final prophecy atafanya atatoa unabii wake wa mwisho because the enemy has said uh huh kwa sababu adui amesema uh huh I've placed my voice in you. Nimeiweka sauti yangu ndani yako. You now can speak and it will be like I am speaking. Sasa unaweza sasa ukasema na itakuwa kama mimi nimesema. If you go to brother Kipara's home, kama ukienda katika mji wa ndugu Kipara and he's not there or he's in the house. Au hayupo au yuko katika nyumba and you find a sister in the compound na unamkuta ndugu dada pale uwanjani and and you say na na sem who are you wewe ni nani i want mr kipara i don't want to talk to you wewe ni nani nataka bwana kipara nataka kumzungumzia you are wasting your time unapoteza muda wako if you want mr kipara kama unamtaka bwana kipara Treat well the wife. Hebu mtendee mema mkewe. Treat her well. Mtendee mema. Amen. Good morning madam. Oh habari za asubuhi mbibi. Well done. Oh pema. How is the family? Sa familia inaenda inaendeleaje? How is the man of God here? Oh mtu wa Mungu anaendeleaje? Um, so and so. Mimi ni friend of Rani. Uh, I made an appointment to talk to him. Ah nilikuwa na miadi ya kuzungumza naye. I don't know whether he is around. Oh sijui kama yupo. Yes. Ni Adam. Well, you can tell him I'm here. Unaweza ukamwambia niko hapa. She is also a boss. Yeye yeah, pia ni boss. Hey, If she does not call on him kama hamuipi you will not see him utamuona kipara hallelujah hallelujah and in the church of god na kanisa la mungu is the boss the final boss here yeah yeah ni boss wa mwisho hapa not the devil sio ibirisi not perversion sio upotovu but the final voice lakini sauti ya mwisho to the final age kwa wakati wa mwisho will be the voice of god in the church in the bride itakuwa ni sauti ya mungu kanisani ndani ya bibi harusi and what she says na kila anachosema bibi harusi god will come down and prove it na mungu atashuka na kukithibitisha hallelujah hallelujah may god bless you mungu nawabariki na stand up hebu na tusimame Hallelujah. Amen. I'm really more than finished. We are just going to pray. Oh, nimechoka sana. Ni niko zaidi ya kuchukisha. If you want to be remembered in the prayer. Oh, kama unataka kukumbuka katika maombi, just lift up your hand. Hebu nyoshe mkono wako, inua mkono wako. Lord Jesus. Oh, Bwana Yesu. I want to thank you for this evening. Nataka kukushukuru kwa hivi ajione hii. That God you are a God who does this financial. Kwamba wewe ni Mungu ambaye upenda cha kimbingoni. For when I stood here, kwa sababu niliposimama hapa, I didn't know I would even go 20 minutes. Hata sikujua kama ningeweza kwenda umbali wa dakika 20. But Lord, yeah. lakini Bwana, you have your way with you. Lakini wewe Mungu anaitia na mtoto wake. And you will be I thank you that you have spoken to us. Na ninakushukuru kwamba umetunenea. And here are your children. Na hapa ni watoto wako. Their hands are lifted up to you Lord. Mikono yao imeinuliwa kwako Bwana. You know their needs. Unajua mahitaji yao. The enemy has said aha many times. Oh, adui amesema aha nyakati nyingi. Lakini Bwana, you are now beckoning to us. Sasa unatukonyesha. And you are saying mm -hmm, this is your time. Na unasema This is your time to prophesy. This is your time to claim what belongs to This is your time to speak. And when you speak, what you speak will be like my word. Will be like my word. It will be you. Whom the people will see. But I will be in you. Christ in you. Christ and Daniel, the hope of glory. Lord, oh, boy. 
May you touch the sick. May you deliver the afflicted. May you give your children the victory. And give every child of yours the revelation to know that I am the one to prophesy again. And let everybody say, I prophesy for my healing. I prophesy for my victory. I prophesy for my success. I prophesy for the salvation of my family. I prophesy that I am the bride. I prophesy that I am going in heaven. And at one of these days, I am going to fly away. Brother the Father, I pray for you. 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 The pastors here that they may have the revelation how to continue with this work alone. May you continue to provide for them to encourage them to strengthen them to answer their prayer to fight against the demons that rise against them. Oh God May you sit in the churches. Lord, the church will be sweet. And that sweetness will invite the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will continue his work. And finish whatever they have to finish. Oh, God. May there be such a unity. Such a strong side of faith. Hebu ile kuku kuu. A strong side of faith. Hebu ile kuku ile imani yenye kuku. Lord, Lord, that the church will be over the powers of darkness. Bwana, kanisa litakuwa zaidi ya nguvu za giza. Hebu nijalie Bwana. I commend them to you. Nina waweka mikono ni mwangu. In Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Amefanya majabu na misuwezi kueleza na siwezi na siweze Amefanya majabu na siweze
wa mbinguni wewe ni Mungu wa maajabu wewe ni Mungu wa mambo makuu wewe ni Mungu mkuu liye juu ya dunia Asante kwa upendo wako ajabu Asante kwa ajili ya ukubwa Asante kwa kukupenda Tunayapokea yote uliyopeana Asante kwa hapa haujadukia Asante kwa kukuona Asante kwa kusafisha Asante kwa kukakasa Na asante kwa kukuinua tena Sipa na ukukuzikwa Penzi Mungu wetu Nashukuru kwa ajili ya chombo ambacho umetumia hapa Jaje tena kibali tena ili nitafanyike baraka kwa wengi zaidi. Baba mbinguni bariki huduma yake. Bariki kanisa lake. Baba mbinguni bariki familia yake pia. Baba mbinguni ametenda nayo kwa muda mrefu. Tunaamini Mungu tutatendea mazito. Asante kwa ajili ya ndugu yetu Abel ambaye alikuja. Bariki bwana na wazee sifa uh, sina namna ya kuelezea hata mwelewe jinsi hilo tunaiona lakini tu hapa uh, Mungu akubariki ndugu yetu tungaje Abraham Mahira kwa jinsi ambavyo ulitupenda bila hata kufahamu atukumtumie hata shilingi mia ya nauli mia Atu kumtumia. Asa wapini kwa gana zaki ya mwenyewe mpaka na kwa watu ambao hata jawai kwa siyana nao lakini mwenye kukoza na je kutudumia kwa kiwango wa mpacha mpini. Nisebe tena. Wakati ya kigaramikia hivyo na kipambana hivyo yuma yake kulitokea msiba wa baba yake. Hivi Mahira amesema hapa kumbili aliami siyo pita baba yake amezipa. Lakini wakati msiba unatokea hakurudi kwenye msiba. Anasema naenda mwanza kwanza kwa ajili ya watu wa Hiyo kwa mimi ni darasa kubwa kuliko darasa zote ambazo nazo nazo. Mungu akubariki. Na nitakufundisha jinsi ambavyo mimi wa Kristo ni kitu cha samani kubwa. Amen. Mungu akubariki Mungu Mungu akutie moyo. 
hakupitishe nyumbani salama lakini umeacha mguuli wa ushuhuda hapa hata nisi endelee ni mgusu kundu kukabalake amalizia mingine kwa niyabaya mkaliku Aleluya Aleluya Na shangia kuna watu wamenuna mpaka saizi Jina wana nibalikio Wangatu wamebalikio Aleluya Mungu wabaliki Amina Eee na mimi na mshukuru mungu Jina kwa na mbalikiri Na wa shukuru wa chungaji sana Chungaji yako kwa Chungaji Samuel Rafiki yangu Wazai wangu wako pari Chungaji Patrick Nili wa shirikisha kwa pamoja Jamani na waletea mtu Wakasema tunamukalibishi Unajua kumperekea mtu ambaye hamjui Siyo jambo dogo Aleluya lakini Petro mahali fulani nasema na shukuru kwamba mnampenda Yesu japokuwa hamkumuona. Amen. Haleluya. Na nashukuru kwa jinsi mlivyo ungana kwa pamoja naomba hili jambo lidumu mpaka Yesu akije. Amen. Ukiendelea hivi unya kuko karibu. Amen. Sabu nabia nasema enye ndi umno ujichelewesha Aleluya Mana tuja mbo tungini unakuta tuko tudogo tudogo Au tungine di hewa tu hatupo Tuna tuchelewesha Munga wabariki Lakini na mshukuru mungu sana Kwa wajira fiketu Moses Maira kama chungaji pati Kwa hivyo sema Nime ongo za nanaye tangu da sramu Nime jifunza mengi Aleluya Nime ongo za nanaye kama Kama ilisha na ilia Aleluya Unajua ilia, ilisha likuwa makini sana kwa mbo mtu ni kipukosea hapa, naeza nkali wa kichu. Kwa wana kwa wana sema mungu ni saidie. Lakini na mshukuru kwa utahari waki. Nimejifunza mengi kwa kumuangalia ambayo hata mengine hajui kama mi nimejifunza. Aleluya. Yeye ni mtu ambaye ni mtu wa kanuni, ni mtu wa nampenda, mtu ambayo yuko simati kwa kila jambo. Munga wabariki. Kwa hiyo, tuendele kumuombe. Wangapi wanataka rudi mwanza? Aleluya. Sasa kama alivyo sema, kurudi kwa ke mwanza siyo kwa ajili yangu na wewe. Na mwaliko wake, siyo mwaliko kama mwaliko mwaliko wa jako kwa usa mweli kwa mba sa. Nikuwa naenda ukirewe ndukungoja ni ache tunijia, siyo hivu. Sisi natakiwa tuende mbinguni. Kumambie yule. Kwa mba mwana tunamutaka yule mbinguni. Aleluya. Maombi yako ya kina ya kuzikika ndio atamshusha ya tamleta huko na tunaamini hata mwakana anaweza kuja. Haleluya. Eh Mungu awabariki. Mimi mwenyewe nimebarikiwa na niwakaribishe Dar es Salaam. Haleluya. Amen. Ndugu yetu atakuwa msafiri siku ya Jumanne tumweke kwenye maombi. Amen. Lakini wale wenye shida mbalimbali tumesema Naamini kwa maombi yali oombwa Kamu likuwa makini na uu naamini Yali oombwa hapa Aleluya Unajua ushukuda mzuli Ni ulio pokea ulipo kaa Aleluya Ishara kuenda kuwekewa mkono Ni sawa Lakini Aleluya Nenendo na mungu mkono Kwa mkono lakini mshini Aleluya Hata kipindi janabi Aleluya Unakuta mtu yuko kwenye kiti hapo Na vya naendera kuhubiri Katikati ya mahubiri Yule mtu mwenye imani pare Anavuta mbingu Mbuzo ya moto inaenda Aleluya Haraku na vya naisha kuhubiri Anasema wewe hapo Umepokea ukunya Kina wana mazio ni mungu peka nengeweza kuingilia mahubiri ya nabili kwa sababu kuna dada moja kuna ndugu moja mwenye imani zaifu lakini imani sabiti aleluya nengeweza kumushusha mungu mungu wabariki kwa hiyo kesho sanane nduga mechoka hata hivyo ili sanana tuhudumi ni mahubi yaku kumombe ye mwenye nasema na shangani memaliza kalibu masama wili
Alipanga hata nusu saa isifike jioni. Haleluya. Naenda kumgongea namwambia ndugu muda umefika. Amefanya kuamshwa. Kweli amechoka. Anahitaji kumwombea. Unajua uchovu sio pepo. Wala <laughs> wezu kasema unataka dawa sijui ninahitaji uchovu natakiwa kupumzika. Mungu awabariki. Jambo la mwisho la mwisho mwisho kama nitakuwa nimesahau sijui. Lakini Mungu awabariki. Eh hizi video ambazo zimechukulia mahubiri. Haleluya. Amina. Wale makani kwenye makanisa yetu ambao tuna vijana wengi wa wa dotcom saizi. Wachungaji mtaweza kuwasaidia hata wachungaji. Muka download hayo mahubiri kwenye YouTube. Wiki hii atakuwepo kuanzia kesho. Kwa hiyo kama kuna mtu anataka mtakuwa mnaenda kuchukua kwa unachukua flash na endo unayasikiliza nyumbani. Haleluya. Yatakuwepo. Sio hayo yale hapa tu chukua na mengine kama nilivyokuambia mchana. Kuna ushuhuda wake pale kauchukue una masaa sita. Haleluya. Eh lakini utakupa utaku, utaku Na ukiusikiliza unaweza ukasema kumbe ya mkini nilikosea kuwa makini kwenye ule mkutano. Haleluya nilikuwa na mtu ambaye ilipaswa niona umakini zaidi. Lakini nakushukuru hata hivyo kuna jambo umepokea. Amina. Mungu awabariki. Kuna rafiki yetu mwingine amefika pale. Naomba nikusimamishe mzee wetu. Eh Tangu tusimame tu hapo. Mungu awabariki. Amen. Jina Bwana barikiwe. Amen. Alikosikia habari. Jina Bwana barikiwe. Amen. Kwamba yuko Mungu mahali fulani. Kwamba yuko Mungu mahali fulani. Hakusita. Amesikia saa sita usiku jana. Amen. Akachukua hatua kwamba nataka nikamuone wewe. Amen. Kwa amesafiri na ndege na familia yake. lakini nako shukuru kwamba Mungu yuko na watoto wake. Kwa chochote ambacho umejikisikia hapa kama ulikuwa tangu tangu Ijumaa. Mungu awabariki. Mpaka leo tumekuwa na somo hili moja tu. Haleluya. Ninakufanya wewe ujitambue kwamba haki zako zote kwamba kile ambacho Ibilisi amekuonea miaka yote ni kwamba Mungu yuko nyuma yako. Na kwamba anataka kukupa ushuhuda wa tofauti. Kwa hiyo naamini kwamba hutaondoki kiwa mnyonge. Umeambiwa kukiri kwako kwa mara kwa mara ndio ushindi wako. Jina Bwana nibarikiwe. Mimi nilishangaza siwachukulii muda, lakini nilishangaza jambo moja nikasema Nikasema Mungu nisaidie. Kwa sababu anayefunga kinywa chako sitamuke neno Amina ni ibilisi. Kuna mtu anaweza kaja kwenye huu mkutano tangu mwanzo wa mkutano hajaye kusema amina. Ndio. <laughs> Alafu unategemea unapata nini? <laughs> Kwa sababu mahubiri aliyohubiriwa na chote kilicho semu kisema amina katika ulimwengu wa roho umesema na iwe hivyo. <laughs> amina utamki. Una vidonda mdomoni? Hauna. <laughs> Ulimi wamekata hapa unao Amen Haleluya Amen Najibu jepesi ni kiburi Amen Leo nasema jana tumeambiwa yani mtu amekaa amekuwa badala ya Mungu kupokea sifa za wengine yani yeye ndiye amekaa Neno linapita. Yeye ndo anapokea zile sifa. Yaani si Mungu ndo anaye ukisema haleluya, unamsifu Mungu. Yeye anasema yes, namuona. 
Haleluya. Na nabii anasema mahali fulani, ustarabu kizidi unakuchomoa Mungu. Kwa sababu Mungu anataka watu waonao mabudu walio chizika. Nimpakuwe chizi na wenzako wakuone chizi ndio namna Mungu anapenda. Mpaka waseme Paulo anasema kwa njia ile wanaoita ushushi. Ndivyo nani mabudu Mungu? Na ustarabu ni wakuzimu. Ndio jibu jepesi. Ustarabu ni wakuzimu. Amina. Mm. Sasa mmoja akasema Unajua hata serikali inapitisha sheria kwamba wanapiga kelele kelele akamwambia lakini kama hizi kelele za kanisani zinakuletea usumbufu. Maana yake kama utabahatika kwenda miguuni kuna kelele nyingi zaidi. Amina. Haleluya. Amina. Na kama utapata bahati mbaya kwenda kuzimu ndio kuna kelele mbaya zaidi. Haleluya. Amina. Mungu awabariki. Amina. Kwa hiyo twende nyumbani tukiwa na jambo moja la kukiri. Amina. Jambo la mwisho. Ambapo mnisamee napotezea mda. Mmoja mambo ndio yapata. Kumbuka nabii mahali fulani kama nabii sijui nimesikiliza mahali lakini tanisainishi. Anasema unaweza kaamka wangapi umewekwa kuamka anaamka na tenzi ya rohoni na imba. Moyoni. Unaamka wimbo fulani unaimba. Huo wimbo wakati mwingine unatoka dumu siku moja mbili tatu. Kila ukiamka unashinda nao. Anasema huo wimbo una ujumbe kwako utafakari kwa kina. Haleluya. Na anasema kuabudu kuko kwenye kusifu na kuimba. Wangapi ambao unakuta zamani umezoea kuimba tenzi kila ukiamka mahali popo tunapokuimba. Sasa kitu ambacho ibiza na kunyang'anya na ni mwanzo wa kunyang'anya na neno ni kukunyang'anya kumsifu na kumwibia Bwana. Na ndio maana kwa mfano nafika mazingira fulani wewe lazimisha tu. Lazimisha. Alafu inadaka. Haleluya. Ndio hata nabii anasema ifanyie mazoezi imani yako. Amina. Unaona? Amina. Alafu Paulo anasema jizoeshe kuwa utaua. Kwa kumbe ni swala la kurudia Amina. kama neno lilivyo tuambia. Ni swala la kurudia na kurudia. Alafu mambo yanakamata. Mungu awabariki. Na mimi na mashukuru nikukaribisha mchungaji mwenye kwa jambo moja tu. Karibu. Nimefurahi kuliko nyinyi wote sijui vile mimi na furaha. jina la bwana lipe sifa ni jambo kubwa nilo nalo ni kumuita tena pastor maere mahila karibu kutuambia neno moja la kutuaga karibu Ya wepika bodi hana wezuri kola kusanda I'm just humbled to be here before you Nimepewa heshima kwa hapa pamoja na When I came here and I was late to come here I didn't know whom I'm going to meet Na nilipo ongozwa kuja mani hapa Fahamu ni naenda kutana na kina nani Because I knew nobody here physically Kwa sababu sikuwetua ya yote hapa kukwili But somehow I felt ready to come here. Hata hivyo niliongozwa kuja mali hapa. I believe what God wanted me to do I've done. Ah ninaamini kile ambacho Mungu alitaka nifanye nimekupenda. What was remaining is between you and God. Kile ambacho kimebaki ni kati yako wewe na Mungu. But I'll still have you in my life. Lakini nitaendelea kwa nalo maisha yangu. I'll be praying for you people. Nitakuwa nikiwaambia any watu And I request that you pray for me. Na nina pombeni papa mtaniombea pia. As some of you may know, ah kama baadhi yenu ambavyo mungeweza kujua, 
I move a lot around the world. I travel a lot. Not because I want to. But because I'm pressed to. And sometimes my family and my church complain. And they are right. But God is also right. So, just like when they buried my father and I'm the elder son and I was not there. And people say the lot of words. The clan, the fall, the family. But their words could not be above God's word. And I know my that case is there in the Bible. One man wanted to go and bury his father. What did Jesus say? Yes, what is the You know the answer. So I appreciate you so much. And uh, thank you for coming. Coming to meet a person, a preacher you don't know. And the pastor is bringing your people to the preacher you don't know. May God bless you. I, ho I hope I've not caused any problems. <laughs> I've just preached the message. Amen. Amen. Now I want to say this. Um, All believers who have been here. The prayer that we prayed yesterday and today is enough. You don't have to come and see me tomorrow. I Because you believe the word of God. And the same prayer, the same God that we prayed is the same thing that happens. The first time I saw the deaf hearing, I didn't lay hands on her. She was seated in the back of the congregation. And when I said, let us lift up our hands, her mother lifted up her hand. Mama yake alichika mkono wake na akawinua. And she was a girl of 23 years. Na ni wa She has never heard. Hakupata kusikia kama mwe. But the power of God struck her. Hey, Lakini nguvu ya Mungu ilikonga pale pale. Listen. Sikiliza. She did not even hear the sermon I was preaching. Hata kusikia ile ibada niliyokuwa nikihubiri. But God healed her. Lakini Mungu alimponya. So, hivyo Unless you have a very complicated case. Like my friend who is not even one of us who has traveled. He has not even had the sermon we have preached here. He's not a believer like us. I can handle that one. But the rest of you, why should I keep praying for you when you have believed? God has already heard your prayer. So tomorrow, I will see, but I will see very few cases. And that are necessary to be seen. The rest of you, God has been And how many of you want me to take your greetings to Uganda? May God bless you. Thank you, Pastor, for inviting me or for receiving me. You didn't invite me, but for receiving me. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. 
If you have time, come and visit us in Uganda. Kama muda muda, chao kutembele Uganda. Mungu abariki. Nadhani sasa tumefikia mwisho. Ni mwezi wa Lucas. Aombe kwa ajili ya kuailisha mkutano huu. Karibu ndugu. Ndio huu ambao tumeuona. Baba tume kuona mahali hapa bwana ambao baba hata tuwezi kurudia yale ambayo umeyatenda mbele yetu kwanza angalia baba upendo ambao kwa ndugu yetu ambaye hata kama angeliangalia baba mawazo ya kibinadamu ni jambo kubwa kuondokewa na mzazi wake lakini kuna jambo ambalo aliona liko mbele yake ambao ni kubwa sana lako wewe bwana Yesu Kristo ambao wewe ndiye ambaye ulie muumba yule baba alikuheshimu wewe si kwamba ametuheshimu sisi ametuheshimu wewe baba kaleta Mungu wetu mashtaka mbele yetu Aya ni mashtaka mbele yetu kwa maana heri tusingelisikia lakini tumesikia kwa na wewe hukumu yako ni ya kweli kama Mungu tukiajua halafu tusiafai unasema tunakuwa wabaya kuliko walio wasioamini tusaidie Bwana baba msikia kwetu kusiwe bure baba siku Mungu wetu iwe baba tunakotembea tukikumbuka kwamba tuliambiwa jambo furaha mashtaka mbele yetu baba yeye amemaliza upande wake tumebakia sisi kwa tusaidie mokozi umetuita kwa wakati unaofaa umetuambia kwa wakati unaostahili wakati ambao watu wataki kusikia oh bwana umetuambia tunakurudia sifa na utukufu Yesu Kristo tazama ndugu yetu baba anatarajia kurudi nyumbani lakini wewe ndio mwongozaji tunajua ya kwamba mpenzi tumesikia kwamba nabii alikuwa anasema ningekuja mahali hapa na hivyo sasa nabii amekuja mahali hapa tena kwa sababu tu mtumishi wake kwa wakati unakubalika hivi tunarudisha sifa na utukufu baba ili neno hasa baba la upendo ndio uona jinsi hii nikikumbuka tulivyokuwa Mungu wetu ni upendo wako Mungu awabariki. Tumefika mwisho ibada yetu wakati tunapeana mikono basi tutaimba wimbo Bwana uliyewaita Bwana oh, oh.